Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen these clips by Mayand where he complains about MK11 Jade. Uh, l l let me show you a couple of them just so you know, just so you have the context for this video. And I am not playing against MK11 Jade. For Christ's sake, delete this character from the game already. Oh my goodness! I'm getting really... I, I, I'm not playing, I'm really pissed. I despise, I loathe, I hate this character. I want her removed from this game with immediate effect. Seriously. Don't die. No! You stupid! I hate this character. From the bottom of... No, he cannot do that. It's not glowing, so... From the bottom of my heart, I hate this stupid character, MK11 Jade. She should be deleted from this game. It is absolutely zero fun facing this horrible character. Alright, as much as as it was fun and entertaining and absolutely hilarious. I love watching these clips. I watch them almost every day. Mend is a funny dude. Go subscribe to Mend, guys. He makes amazing combat, Mortal Kombat videos. He even taught me a cool trick that helped me beat Battle 180 and 184 in the Twisted Tower. If you haven't watched this video, check out how I beat Battle 180. It was awesome. It was a cool trick. Anyway, so basically, he claims that MK11 Jade is the worst character, the most annoying character, and she has to be de deleted from the game. Now, I think it's time for me to respond to Mand and say my own opinion about MK11 Jade. Do I agree with Mand? Do I disagree with Mand? Do you think? Do I think that he is a big crybaby every time he faces MK11 Jade? Like, I've never quit a battle because of facing MK11 Jade. To be fair, right now, regular faction wars are so ridiculously easy I am praying to face MK11 J because otherwise it's going to be so easy. However, in survival, in survival, that's where MK11 Jade is actually extremely annoying. However, it might sound like I disagree with Mand, and I don't think she's that big of a deal. I will concede one point, and that point is MK11 Jade is the most annoying character in the game for one specific reason she has no counters you can think about it every single character no matter how annoying they are they have certain ways you can counter them dark emperor Liu Kang, super annoying but there are ways to counter him you can have your own dark emperor Liu Kang on the first position you can have stun resistant gear you can have stun resistant talent you can get to 100 percent stun resistance and not be that affected uh there is resurrection stuff like terminators uh, spec up scorpion super annoying but there is death mark there is brutalities there is other ways to counter resurrection uh regeneration counters with poison uh even assassin jade there is black dragon cabal that is uh that he can do combo enders and special attacks to her and there is also uh you can also do uh actually special attacks to her when she's stunned so there is way around everything in this game. You can counter absolutely... My phone died. You can counter absolutely everything in this game. Except... MK11 Jade. MK, her passive seems pretty simple and innocent, right? Chance to dodge basic attacks. MK11 Jade has 25% chance to dodge basic attacks, leaving the opponent slowed and open to counterattack for a brief time. MK11 teammates are healed by fire, bleed, poison. Now, in my opinion, again, MK11 teammates healed by fire, bleed, poison. You can go walk around that by not applying any dots to, to your enemies, right? Okay, that, that is not the big deal. However, the part that she has 25% chance to dodge basic attacks. That part is, is just not... It's impossible to counter. There is... As far as I know, I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments if there is any... I mean, if she is stunned... Yeah, she will not be able to... Uh, to dodge. I guess you can do stun loop. But no, stun loop is not gonna work. Because in stun loop... There is still certain periods where... You hitting her while she is not stunned. In normal characters, it's fine. Because you can chain your basic combo into a special attack and keep the stun going. However, Jade, as soon as the stun is gone, next basic hit can be dodged and she will wreck you into pieces. Uh, MK11, uh, Black Dragon Cabal doesn't work with Jade. He only can uh, 
he only prevents his aiding from combo enders and, and special attacks. There is literally no way to stop her from evading basic attacks when she is not stunned, and it's impossible to keep a character stunned 100% of the time. So, uh, yeah, in this case, I will definitely agree with Man. This character is the only character that doesn't have a counter in the game. Does it mean it has to be deleted from the game? Maybe, but maybe there is a better solution. Maybe in the next update, they can give uh, one of the characters, they can give him some kind of a, some kind of a way to counter and kill Evan Jade. Maybe they can even uh, make a few tower pieces, or maybe even basic rare piece for the new character, that will have a chance somehow to counter and kill Evan Jade, because she's the only character in this game nowadays without a counter. There, like, she can literally end your run at random. And if with with classic Jade, uh, I mean with uh, with Assassin Jade, you can just do basic attacks and just not do combo enders and special attacks. And just do X-rays and basic attacks, right? You cannot not do basic attacks. You just you just can't not do basic attacks. That's how you gain power. That's how you gain enough power to do special attacks. So the only way is to just stand there and block and then like hope your other teammates are going to regenerate enough power then you tag and do special attacks yeah that that could work but like uh, most of the time you're going to face jade if it's survival if it's faction wars she's going to have block breaker gear and this strategy is not going to work and even if she doesn't have block breaker gear she can her special two is a grapple so you cannot block that it's gonna absolutely wreck you, and in survival, it's just if if it's like if she's a final enemy in your survival run. Honestly, I I will I will suggest you use your opponent reroll. I'm actually realizing now that there is such thing as opponent reroll in the game. I've never used it in my life, and now I'm just realizing how dumb it is because I have so many of them. If you see him kill Evan Jade in your survival run in any capacity, just reroll your enemies. It's as simple as that. So there is a way. To counter and kill Evan Jade is is by never fighting her. Just use opponent reroll. It's not worth it. You might be lucky, and you might be able to wreck her. But there is like, there are a few ways you can counter her. You can, for example, start your match with Dark Emperor Liu Kang, stun her, and then immediately tag to to your second character that starts with special two and who has insanely powerful special two, and just blast her right away to kill her or to do insane damage to her. But that kind of a setup is not gonna work like for like it's not very good team composition in survival you need a, you need survivability you usually usually you will you will not go for this kind of a build because it's it's kind of glass cannon build it's, it works great against m kilo and jade but you cannot just sacrifice all other possibilities just for the for the chance you're gonna face m kilo and jade so i will I will actually agree with Mand. At, th at this point, I'm kill Evan Jade. I hate her very much as well. If she's in the tower, it's gonna be a pain to, to beat her. If she's in survival, you can just always reroll your opponent and skip her. In regular Faction Wars, honestly, I don't think it's an issue because Faction Wars are ridiculously easy. Unless you do the strategy that I showed a few days ago, where you can get absolutely impossible fights in Faction Wars. That is... That is disgusting. But if you if you want to torture yourself, then sure, go ahead, do that. But like normal faction wars, I don't think it's a problem. Survival, you can skip her, and in towers, at least you have unlimited tries on every battle. So like, there are ways. There are ways to get around it. But I will 100% agree. She is the most annoying character in the game. The only character that impossible to counter uh, efficiently. She's just she's just disgusting. She's just for, for no reason like. There is no skill involved. Beating Jade is pure luck. Pure luck of triggering or not triggering her passive and getting absolutely wrecked. So I can totally understand why Mand hates her so much. And if I had to find, to pick the most annoying character and the character that I wanted deleted from the game, I would I would I would agree with Mand. It has to be in Kill Evan Jade. She's just too too random, too unpredictable, too non-skill based she's just she's the only character that you can lose to completely by random and there's nothing you can do to stop it so yeah i'm team manned 
Let's do, let's ban Jade from the game. In my opinion, she she should be nerfed when you're fighting against her. She should have instead of 25% ch but what do they do? What they actually do is a when AI using her, you have more than 25% chance to trigger her passive. I can I can't prove it because I don't have the code, but I can guarantee that when you fight against Jade, her passive triggers much more often than uh, you are using MK11 Jade yourself. Which for most characters makes sense because AI is dumb and they need help. But for MK11 Jade, she doesn't need this help. She should be the only character who you you should make it less chance when you fight against her. I think. 10% would be pretty reasonable. Just do it for, for AI. Make Jade have 25 10% chance to dodge basic attacks and everybody's gonna be happy and you don't have to delete this character. Or give us a piece of gear, maybe in the next hour, uncommon piece or maybe even rare piece that, uh, that will be able to somehow counter Jade. I don't know how, but somehow. I guess Sindel kinda, kinda can counter Jade because of her uh, counteract attacks but that's like there's limited number of them and uh not everybody can get sindo all right i'm done i'm done with my rant i'm i'm team man now man leave a comment do you agree i mean i know you agree we, we saw we saw your we, we saw that you agree if you agree that uh, mk11 jade is absolutely busted and the most annoying character in the game leave a comment as well thank you for watching subscribe for more thank you members of the patrons i'll see you in the next one Take care. From the bottom of my heart, I hate this stupid character, Kalamjit.